with you today to compare the two uh, plays and um, to do so. Ah, choirs of angels uh, <laughs> coming. Um, so I wanted to look at a comparison of the two plays by introducing a third play, which has the advantage that we know exactly by whom it was performed, uh, for which audience, and um, can locate all of its settings. And that helps us then conceptualize also the um, Innsbruck and Muri play, where we have a much more fragmentary evidence. So, you know, we have of the Muri Easter play literally only uh, fragments, but even if we have the full role, it would only give us um, very partial insight into the performance situation because uh, we only have the director's cut as I were, without uh, the Latin parts. And um, the Wienhausen Easter play um, is, um, I just printed out on one sheet, the real size of each of the leaves is slightly larger, more like um, double that size, but still um, it's, uh, yeah, no, I think... This is uh, the real size. So it's a tiny parchment booklet. And it's um, the role of Mary Magdalene for an Easter play that starts uh, with a visitatio de pulcri and um, then has the ends with a hortulanus scene. So the uh, encounter with a gardener and has in between uh, a Thomas scene. And that has never moved further than uh, about 20 meters from where it was written and performed. So we have, here you see the performance space for this Easter play, which would have been the nun's gallery in the Cistercian convent of Wienhausen. And it would have been performed, so you, you could very easily reenact it in an Oxford chapel, because it's for a space like that that it's written for an antiphonal setting where the nuns would step out and deliver their lines and interact. Um, uh, with each other. And um, even though we imagine that the Innsbruck play and the Muri play were both performed outside, including devils and all, uh, this gives a, a. They share lines actually. So several of the lines in the Wienhausen play are identical to the Innsbruck play, and uh, it shows the adaptability of these scenes, but it also shows really the core uh, that's still visible behind uh, the bordery of uh, the merchants or uh, the herring, the liturgical core of Easter plays. And the setting you have there on um, the convent also allows you to picture all the visual um, imagery that would have been on interplay because you have above in the um, vaults on the ceiling the scene actually depicted of uh, the three Marys visiting the tomb and uh, you have here in their speech bubbles the text that is also then coming up in the Easter place. So the angels ask, 
Quem Quiritis and um, then uh, the Marys are uh, uh, say we, we are looking for Jesum Nazarenum Crucifixum and then the angels answer again Jam so regsit. he's already risen that eat him but go and um, preach to the so um, Mary Magdalene then becomes the Apostola Apostolorum, the Apostle of the Apostle, because she tells the story. And you can really see here the nuns reenacting in their daily liturgical life, as well as in this Easter play, the whole uh, story. So if we look back uh, through the scenes in the two plays we have been discussing, I've um, highlighted, I don't know whether you can read the yellow at all, um, the scenes that are, isn't that your alarm clock to get you out of bed? Yeah, but it always be off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can see how the uh, core scenes of uh, the play around Mary Magdalene has been um, unfolded to include several of um, the other the, the comic plays. We, uh, we had observed in the Innsbruck Easter play how it's constantly switching between um, the serious lamentation and then the uh, comic take on it by uh, the merchant, particularly Rubin, who, other than the devil, can't understand Latin, so he doesn't understand what hoidulo uh, means and that it's not talking about uh, straw or hay. Um, it is it, a Latin expression. Uh, Sorry, is that yeah. side the Innsbruckish view and that side the... No, uh, this is just, um, um, so uh, these are, it's, uh, we'll come to Muri in a, a second, so what I've um, listed here, yeah, uh, thanks for Alex for pointing out, is where it would have been um, enacted and what kind of staging it would uh, need. So uh, the Innsbruck Easter play really requires an elaborate setting as this one which is from a French mystère uh, with different houses so um, the temple, the tomb, Limbo, the merchant's house. But that would have been the same with the Murray play. Yeah, uh, so we're um, for the Murray play we have less indication since we have fewer stage directions um, we have to uh, uh, have more question marks here. Um, it would also have required a stage, but a less uh, elaborate setting, because as we discussed uh, last but one time, I think um, the everything is pivoting round. First uh, pilot, uh, who and through him money is changing hand, and so he remains like a spider in the middle of the web. While in the other, it's um, a series of scenes that aren't connected. So in the Innsbruck Easter play, pilot has uh, nothing to do with the merchant, while um, here it's linked by the merchant asking for permission to sell the, um, his goods, the merchants having been downgraded not to, uh, uh, yeah, not John Lewis, but rather one on the uh, street vendors on a uh, corn market. So it, it, um, in the Muri play, you have everything concentrated around Pilot's house, um, in the background and then the rest ad hoc settings at front of the stage and uh, 
it's also linking to the money that pilot needs from the vendor to uh, get his uh, selling license is used to bribe the guards. So all of these groups are uh, brought together. And then uh, you only need the tomb that's probably combined actually with the limbo as one um, additional setting. So um, you could imagine it on a much smaller space. But neither for Innsbruck nor for Muri do we have any clear indication whether that would have been the marketplace of a, a major town or just a village green, um, whether well, it would have been a purpose-built stage or uh, using something. So um, I don't know if any of you have been to Nuremberg. Um, yeah, well, yeah, if um, you know uh, where the castle is, uh, the castle overlooking the whole uh, town, and there is a little hill, um, or it was a huckel, before going up to the town, um, which was uh, named as Ölberg um, in the Middle Ages. And then, you know where the Dürerplatz is? Um, there is a house which has, uh, as in the Middle Ages, the name Pilate's House. So, uh, Pilatus House, um, and the distance between there and the uh, little um, uh, a hill called Ölberg is exactly the number of steps that then Nuremberg pilgrims had counted in Jerusalem between these places. So you could uh, convert the whole of Nuremberg cityscape into Jerusalem and uh, reenact for yourself. You, you, uh, um, it, it's like paper going here on a Harry Potter tour from one place to the next, uh, imagining having uh, flying lessons in New College cloisters and uh, then dinner in, in Christchurch. So um, they had, uh, not just in, in Nuremberg, in, in several um, uh, European cities, um, this blending of sacred geography and townscape. And you could use that, to, and the Dürerplatz is a likely place, again, um, not called then Dürerplatz, <laughs> obviously, um, just outside uh, the uh, gate for the castle, behind there, which could be used to double up as a, uh, the city gate of Jerusalem and to, to enact a place there. So, in, in fact, pretty much everything can turn into um, Jerusalem and can become the whole, all the world is a stage. It just depends how you define each of the actors and of uh, the staging. Mm. So think of it much less as a division between there's the playhouse and um, the audience comes from the outside into the inside. It, it's, it can happen anywhere, um, as, as we are trying to do it in... Uh, St. Edmund Hall, so the tomb of the churchyard can turn into the Holy Sepulchre. Uh, and um, the well in the front court can turn into um, the altar where Abraham sacrifices Isaac. So, sorry, so would the audience follow the play around? Like, yeah. Sort of follow the actors as they walk to different places? Uh, could be. Uh, as I said, it, it's, we, we know uh, very little, but that definitely was a model uh, used in, in England, where we have a bit more of uh, notices about plays. Um, so if you go to York, there they um, still perform it. And I, I know from Newcastle, where I was for eight and a half years, where we have a lot of... Um, town um, 
builds about paying uh, the carpenter so much to repair the wings for Angel Gabriel and um, uh, that uh, each of the guilds had their own plane, uh, their signature play. So obviously the building of Noah's Ark was uh, performed by the shipwrights. Um, and um, since each of the guilds also had to look after one of the towers of the town wall, they would keep their props there, um, gather at Blackfriars. I don't know if any of you. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, Blackfriars is very much directly next to the town wall, so um, they would all start there and then set out on a route going down uh, towards St. Nicholas uh, Cathedral. And if any of you go to um, Newcastle, go right once round the cathedral because then you'll come to Armen Corner, uh, which is uh, then the place where the last play would uh, stop and the Amen would be said. So it's, it's called um, Armen Corner. And that would have uh, their all the props on bandwagons and would perform along the processional route different plays. Again, uh, just one of um, the models, but um, it's important to, to keep uh, this distinction to what you have been studying for Goethe or whatsoever, or uh, even Brecht in. Uh, in mind uh, that it's much less a um, separate performance and much more part of the community. And how the community integrates it will depend on uh, their particular settings. So um, that's why it's um, so special to have the Wienhausen Easter play because there we have the full package of a community setting. Perhaps. So um, this little booklet, which is uh, just an ad hoc folded up um, for uh, sheets of parchment, um, would have been used by the nun playing Mary Magdalene, and she must have dropped it. So it was found under the floorboards of the... Uh, nuns choir in, when they lifted uh, the floorboards in 1952. Uh, so the format is yeah, 11 by uh, 9 uh, centimeters uh, yeah, about uh, this size and um, The exact date is um, unclear. Most of the things that have been found there date from the late uh, Middle Ages, um, so 14th, 15th century. And um, it has, um, the, as I said, the Hortolano scene. That would be the equivalent to uh, the Innsbruck uh, lines 11, 13, 9, following and the movie last two sections. And then it has the Doubting Thomas, uh, which is a short scene in the Innsbruck play at the very end. And um, the celebration with the Apostles, which also is um, there. And um, it uh, is um, concentrate. Um, the interesting thing for us is that it transports mainly uh, or, um, the Latin as well as the German, because what we had in the Innsbruck and in the Muri play that there would have been Latin parts sung. 
but we just uh, don't have them. We can reconstruct them, but we don't need to reconstruct them. They are fully in here, including all of um, the music. I'll um, kind of sort of, I've, um, I didn't expect uh, now to uh, people to turn up. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, down to Megan uh, last week. So uh, I've uh, just... Um, took her. It's um, because Constantine will need one. Um, so if you can get around... Uh, I'll have the full text up on, on screen and it's up on WebLearn, the handout. So um, if you somehow you share or... Um, if one of you is up on uh, WebLearn, you'll find it under the last um, Easter place I I did as a, a full text and can download it uh, later on. Okay. So the exciting thing is that um, you have the full Latin music. There. Oh yeah, uh, you can well follow from that. <laughs> it's a good, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, good exercise. Uh, Alex, do you uh, are you able to sing from it? Um, <laughs> I'll, find it. Yeah, um, uh, I'll, I'll I'll give you uh, just for a bit. That was a miscopy, but then you have the the music. <laughs> But, um, no, I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it uh, keeps all the parts that have dropped out in the German place that we have seen, and. Um, particularly um, shows how a sequence uh, like the Victime Pascalis can be amplified to um, realize the full dramatic potential. Um, we had looked briefly at that uh, when we were looking in the Innsbruck Easter play where presumably all of the Victime um, Pascali Laudis should have been sung. It has this part, Dic nobis Maria, quid vidisti in via, which are the apostles asking Mary what she has seen, and then uh, she replies, um, so you all have to be uh, the apostles later on, so we'll just practice that, which would be how the nuns would have reacted. So one nun would have stepped out and then um, all would uh, have uh, combined in sing Hedic nobis Maria quid vidis in via Hedic nobis Maria up to there Hedic nobis Maria Quit me this in via. Good. Once more. Dick nobis Maria. Quit me this in via. Very good. Uh, so you'll uh, come in once um, we go. Uh, just briefly, also, I'd shown the Holy Sepulchre when we were discussing um, how to stage uh, the guarding of the tomb. You remember this can be um, uh, put up and then you can't see the um, body and then you can lift the lower flaps and voila, no body. Um, so that would also have been probably up on the nuns gallery. So they had actually their tomb to, to visit. Um, they didn't need uh, extra props. They had uh, Christ there, they uh, uh, could interact with him being present and this has actually a hole in the head which, uh, in which you could put relics 
um, and a hole in the side wound where you could put uh, the consecrated host. So Christ would have been bodily present. It wasn't just make-believe, uh, since in the hoc est corpus meus, in the Catholic Mass, the bread is turned in the body of Christ. Um, they were in that moment going to that really visiting uh, Christ. Yeah. Um, and these are the three scenes that are then um, alluded to in the Wienhaus and Easter play. So um, the angels showing uh, the cloth, uh, Jesus meeting Mary Magdalene asking why she is weeping, quid ploras, quen queris, and then um, Mary answering, tulerunt dominum meum et nestio ubi posuerunt eum. They have taken my Lord and I don't know where they have put him. And then Thomas uh, believing only after he has touched Christ's side. Um, so, just to show you um, how these lines are a matching up. So you have in the Innsbruck um, Easter play um, this, what I claimed was a kind of joke by uh, Jesus um, asking Mary, what are you looking here? Is, uh, um, are you uh, running around um, after, uh, to look for uh, men? Um, and you, you shouldn't be out here. And then, um, uh, she says, uh, She asked him, sprich, guter Gärtenäre, durch aller Frauen Ehre, hast du von ihm nicht vernommen? Sage mir es, es mag dir frommen. Um, and uh, here Mary, star, Mary Magdalene starts, um, Ich kenne Welt nicht, war er es getragen, gute Gärtenäre, durch aller Frauen Ehre, hast du da nicht von vernommen? Sage mir, ich mag dir frommen. Ich wollte ahne dienen hat, gerne bis dahin bad. So that's the low German uh, equivalent of the uh, lines here. And how this um, is related, whether it's related because it's really from one um, uh, word play uh, that is then amplified in different ways, or whether it's just because it's such stock lines that you can insert it. Uh, so, um, phenomen frommen is a really simple filling rhyme which you can put in, and uh, gardenere, ehre, could also, uh, could conceivably be a, a coincidence, even though to have four lines identical is, is fairly rare. Um, and um, yeah, just maybe have time to, to go through all of it, but uh, just to show you where Wienhausen actually is here is Zelle, there is Lüneburg, Hamburg, Hannover, there. Wienhausen is along the river Aller uh, to the uh, southeast. It's one of the most fantastic medieval sites you can visit in uh, Germany, highly recommended. And uh, the special thing is that it's still extant as a religious community, so it never stopped since 1230 when it was founded by the daughter-in-law of Henry the Lion, uh, Renate von Randel, uh, the current abbess. And, um, This is the dress for one of the angels, um, which were put for Easter on the tomb of uh, Christ. And behind the dress, 
um, a stiffening of the hem. There was, um, so yeah, this is uh, the risen Christ and the angel would be put on this uh, pedestal. And um, behind uh, the dress there was parchment backing which had a passion play, a low German passion play. So they, the nuns recycled uh, these play scripts when they weren't any longer used. So we are very lucky that uh, Mary Magdalene lost her uh, a little booklet so that it uh, survived. Mm. You also found under the floorboards these oldest glasses in Europe. The writing uh, implements. So you have a whole material culture around the performance. All right, um, let's get going um, with uh, the first few lines are uh, slightly rubbed out, so we, um, but it would have started with a, uh, a scene with the Hautelandus. Die meinen Kumber klagen, mein Dor der Herre ist mir benommen und dem Grafe. Ich ne weet nicht, war ich getragen. Gute Gärtnere, du aller Frau von Ehre, hast du da nicht von vernommen, sag mir. Ich mach die Frommen. Ich wollte ahne dienen hat, gerne bis dahin wart. Natürlich klappen ahne hat. Mutter quitt Pluras, wie ich sage, was du meinst, ich glaube, du so sehr weinst. Du und Amen um Genommen, sag mir, war ist sie gekommen? Ich will es die Jümbe priesen, dass du eine mir willst wiesen, und es gar bequeme, dass ich eine Dot to mir nehme. Oh, denn, oh, denn sie ist gekommen, oh, um, die Seele war wie die Welt, oh, mir, oh, mir, oh, Eier, Söße, Herr Jesu Christ, der du aller Werde Trost bist, von einer reinen Maget geboren. O oh, wie, dat ich dich habe verloren. Quale liede dat Herze min, als ich mit einem Espere durch Stocken sie bät an den Grund. Bitte licken gewund, dat ich mir nicht ne kann gefrauven. Niemand ne mach mit der Troste kommen. Ähm. Eier, minnigliche Herre, durch dienes selbes Ehre, lacht ihm in den Jumme und Farmen und tröste mich viel Armen. Wäret möglich, dass die Steine mochten schrien und weinen, sie möchten Altus bringen von der Piene, der mit dringet. An meinem Härte liede ich große Smerte, dass ich gerne wäre tot. Eier, läf vor alle läf, bedenke meine Not, dass ich die Morte schauen mit meinen sündigen Augen. Maria, Laboni. Herre, vaterliche Trost, bist du dat? So bin ich gelöst von allen Sorgen. Du bist mir noch borgen. Maria, Laboni. Herre Jesu Christ, tröste mich, ich du dat bist. Maria, Laboni. Den Herzeleben han ich gesehen an seiner Ehre, des freue ich mich viel sehre, wann er meine Dröwigkeit tröstet heft mit seiner Süßigkeit. Und dann, you see, the, um, 
the nun has scribbled in the margin an additional scene where she um, probably wouldn't have to act uh, Thomas um, or she only has to say the words um, Ich kann meinen Herren sehen, das mag ich wohl der Wahrheit gehen. And then Thomas goes off. And then comes the third scene where she is um, acting out the victime Pascali Laudis with all the other nuns acting out the apostles. The victime Pascali Laudis Immolent Christiani. Well, what? I think I've forgotten to. Um, yeah, kommst du einfach hier rum? Um, das Paske Opper und der Lamm, das uns von dem Himmel kam, das schollen Loven, Hüde, alle Christenen Lüde. Christus innocens patri reconciliavit peccatoris. Das Lamm hatte Schaf gelöst. Der reine Jesus hat uns gelöst. Er hat uns alle Garde versöhnet mit seinem Vater. Moset vita duelo, konfliktere mirando, dux vite motus, regnet vivus. Einen gar woldigen Kief hatten den Tod und das Lief. Den er heft versöhnet Jesus tot, er lebet Minsche und de Gott. Ein Nachwuchs. Digno bis Maria, quid vidis in via. Ah. Äh, Digno, äh, ja. ah, oh, oh, wie ich das du wohl gediegest? Sie pulcrum Christum viventis, et gloria Christus resurgentis. Ich sag des lebendigen Gottes Grab, viel groß Trost kam mir da. Ich sag, wie wahren Dingen die Ehre seiner Ubsendige. Dig, dig, dig no bis Maria, quid vidis dis in via. Angelicus testis, sudarium et vestis. Der heiligen Engel tügen denn da, Jesus ups dann die Gewehre war. Ich sag, der Lakene mit den Doken, die findet man da. Wer sehr will so können. Die Dino bis Maria. Die, äh, ja. Quid. Quid wie die Stiege. Maria, sei dir froh, an die ist alt Ruhe. So rexit Christus bis via, prezedit nobis, so sin Galilea. Christ, min Hopene und min Trost, die uns allen Heft gelost, die es wahrlich in Ubgestan und er ist zu Galiläa gegangen. Um, so, this uh, is adapted really for the setting of uh, Nun and um, the nuns uh, becoming the apostles in in their setting um, in the on the nuns uh, choir so and we have to um, assume that in a similar way um, sequences would be interspersed with um, the German translation and made uh, approachable for an audience because basically what um, the Easter play does is to translate every part of the sequence in rhyming couplets. So if we have seen the same uh, principle in the Innsbruck and the Muri Easter play that following, for example, the um, Advenisti Desiderabilis, that the souls are singing hell, then it's translated bis willkommen, um, and that um, I'd shown for the Muri play last week that uh, actually knowing the Latin model, you can reconstruct part of the missing text in the uh, German. But 
here it's um, even closer interlinked in that um, each uh, part of the story that um, Mary Magdalene is telling the apostles is then translated by her into low German for general consumption, um, as it uh, were. If we look at some of uh, the linguistic um, features, you have clear low German markers. So we had with the Innsbruck Easter play, actually the interplay of Thuringian elements where the play probably started so central German but then superimposed by a scribe working in Austria. We had with the Muri play some of the upper German uh, features of um, Konstantin given an impersonation of a Swiss German um, speaking pilot. And here we have a local low German dialect with Härte instead of Herze, so not the second uh, consonant shift, but not consistently. So um, if you look at this line, Quale liedet dat Herze mean, als it mit einem Sphere durch Stocken sie, bad an den Grund. So suddenly um, you have a high German alternative form coming in, showing that probably this, um, this similarity of these four lines of um, Mary Magdalene talking to Christ as the gardener with the lines from the Innsbruck Easter play uh, both relate back to some form of high German um, model which um, you would uh, then adapt as you were speaking or, or acting. Um, most of uh, the forms, though, are low German. So, bad, uh, bis uh, in high German, leaken instead of leichen, what you would have in high German. But here, again, a Z coming in where uh, you would expect a zote, uh, sweet. So, without uh, the second consonant shift here, it's turned into. Soße, have a case. And um, this type of um, linguistic mix we saw when we were looking at the Hildebrands lead. So it's something that is uh, normally in much earlier period, in a period when there isn't an uh, established norm how to write down, and also when you have oral transmission and um, thus a mix of languages. While with the other texts uh, you have been studying for paper nine, you have a, um, either a single author text like uh, uh, Parzival, um, uh, even though it's a translation, it's uh, presented in a much more consistent uh, way, um, or Nibelungenlied, uh, which goes back to oral sources, but is um, reworked by editors uh, for to, to present, even if it still has some performance um, aspect, to be uh, uh, consistently readable. While this is never meant have been was never meant as a laser text. It's only ever a crib uh, sheet, and that's what is the case also for Innsbruck and uh, Muri. So, to conclude uh, from what we've been looking at, for these uh, plays. 
think of them more like a word cloud than as fixed entities. So um, these are open texts, performance-based, uh, giving you a um, glimpse of, into the medieval um, interaction of literature and life, as it were, in a uh, much uh, more direct sense uh, than most of the other uh, texts that survive in copies that were done for representational purposes. So if you think of uh, the Ambrasa Heldenbuch done for Maximilian to be shown, the manuscripts which we have here are uh, shabby in a, a way, but at the same time they uh, allow us a much more direct interaction to um, with the medieval actors in all sense. So um, there the author also becomes an actor and um, so the best way to uh, prepare for this part of paper nine is to come on 25 of <laughs> April and um, see 12 different takes on staging a medieval uh, play.